Hi, I'm Joni Hilton, your YouTube mom. I'm going to give you a big secret today to making really good gravy. Have you ever sat down at a meal and you have gravy on your potatoes or whatever and it's just oh, so much better than most gravies? Why? How did they do that? How did they make that gravy so much better? Today I'm giving you the secret. You bake the flour before you ever add it to the gravy. Here, I'll show you what I mean. You just take regular flour and you spread it. You could do it in a cookie sheet or on a pie plate if you don't want just as much. And you bake it for about 30 minutes, 25 to 30 minutes at 350, and it browns just a little. If you like a stronger flavor, a nuttier flavor, bake it even longer, and then store it in some kind of container, in this case a resealable bag, and I mark it, flour for gravy. You can also use this for the roux that is so popular in Southern cuisine, and the longer you bake it, the darker and stronger the flavor. But even just a little bit, it's gonna add that little extra touch to your gravy. Now, why do I have this jar here? Scroll through these videos and you'll see me demonstrating how to make lump free gravy and I'll just quickly kind of tell you what you do you're cooking your roast your meat whatever it is your chicken whatever and there's drippings don't just add a clump of flour you're gonna have very lumpy gravy take a little bit of those drippings put them in here with some water and some flour shake it up until there's no lumps it's completely smooth and then whisk it in slowly a little at a time and you'll have lump free phenomenal gravy, but only if you bake it first. Yum. Okay, I'm Joni Hilton, your YouTube mom. Hey, check out my website, J-O-N-I-Hilton.com. Tell your friends to subscribe. See you next time.